Hi Felters, here we are, let's get straight into it. Just to let you know, I am not affiliated or commissioned by this company and I paid for this myself. Um, it is a single needle felting machine and I got it from Profit Handmade in Ukraine. I will show you the details in a second and this is me opening it. I was really excited about it arriving and really looking forward to it. So I have kept this for a month to try and give it a fair review and to use it as much as I could. It also comes with this speed adjuster, which is really handy because you can have it slow, medium, fast. I'll show you that too. And you do need an adapter plug for your country. This is a European uh, plug. Just to show you, that is the company on Etsy, Profit Handmade. Um, and that was the cost in pounds, so £141.24. And I did order it. 29th of January and it's now the 10th of March. I know she's been really busy with orders. So it's a hand automatic felting machine. It holds one needle. Right, let's see how this goes. You put the needle in this little tiny blue thing. So this rolls round. That's the movement of the needle that is. So if you put it there and then push that down push put the needle in first and then that little end bit is going to fit in the little hole just there and that is now in so the action is that's how it's going to work so you can see how far yeah so that's quite a depth let's just see yeah so it's about that much it's going in and out Ooh that much it's going in and out just so you're aware because it's kind of quite nerve-wracking when you're holding it as to how deep the needle is going um, this bit i'm just going to show you the noise level the rest of the video i'm going to turn the noise off but this is just so you know so you start it up and you can have it going slow all the way up to uh, fairly fast so here we go nice and slow midway up to the top and that's the noise level we're at um, I do uh, recommend wearing some finger guards I was just going to test them to see what happens so I won't be able to talk but let's have a go And yeah, it didn't penetrate them, so that's really promising. So um, yeah, definitely. There we go. You can see that there. We can wear some finger guards, and you'll probably be quite safe. Here we are with the first test. So this is the inside of one of my Highland cows. So I've roughly felted it into a shape, and then I need to smooth the outside so I can attach the fur. And it does, it's great. I mean, you can see it working there and I didn't know whether to go circular or up and down, but it didn't seem to make any difference. You just hold it gently on the surface and it does all the work. Um, it does vibrate quite a bit in your hand. I've had carpal tunnel before, but it did not set off uh, my carpal tunnel again. So I was really, really pleased about that. You can see it smoothing down the edge. Again, it's a bit scary where you hold your hand, not too close to it, so I should be wearing the guards. What I did love about it is if you needed to do detail work. So you can see I am just obviously doing a smiley face, but um, if you were doing the detail of an owl wing or something like that, or if you make a lot of uh, flat felting, I'll show you some pieces in a minute. But it's very easy to do detail on the surface. It's like you're drawing with a pen. So I thought that was really, really good. Um, and if that's the kind of artwork you're doing with felting, that would be great for you. And that's the size of the original there. And then I also did some flat felting with it to look at sort of doing ears um, things like that and it works really well for that so I was really pleased uh, and it didn't seem to felt it to the mat loads even though you know normally when you felt it can end up sticking to the mat and you'll keep turning it
but this is a lovely little flat piece there I'm getting and see I'm holding it with a needle towards the end but I really liked it for that and then I just played about a little bit with um, a coloured wool and I've put the white on so you can see it so I felted it flat then folded it over and felted it again and I think it came up really well and then uh, I just played around with trying to get a piece really quite hard um, so I have felted that that's definitely fairly hard fairly firm there still seems to be a gap in the middle that it hasn't felted. I still think you need to get the base of your felt felted first and then this would definitely help with the exterior. There's a lot of squish there even though I did it for a while. And um, do you see these little flakes coming off? Um, I had this earlier in one of the other videos but basically just around here the needle sometimes catches on the plastic. It could be uh, that could be a problem for me press, having the needle too far down and it's just catching on the sides as it goes but it um, doesn't do it as much so maybe it's just the plastic was new and it was just wearing in a bit there you go you can see all the little bits just there the little flakes where it's catching on the plastic and wearing it away okay guys so what's my ultimate thoughts on this I'll go through lots of good points. You can use regular needles on it, so that's really good. You don't have to buy any special needles that they supply only. Um, you can change the needles as well, and you can put in whatever you want to use, the 36, 38, triangular, spiral. Um, the sound is not too bad, actually. I don't know what other needle felting machines are like, but a lot of people say, um, on the reviews especially, that it doesn't sound too bad. And it isn't. If I shut the door, I don't think it would disturb anyone. It's got an adjustable speed, so that's fantastic. I've got a list of things. So it does get hot, but that's normal. And you can't feel it when you're felting, so that's really good. So it's only in there. Um, it will help you if you have injuries or issues with your hands or with your arms or with anything. It's going to help you. And like I said, I... Um, have had carpal tunnel in the past and it didn't set it off at all so that was really really good it's going to speed up your work so that's a good thing uh, it has fantastic reviews if you go on etsy and have a look through there's an awful lot of good reviews and there's no reviews about it breaking or um, about it uh, not working or anything like that so that's a real bonus because i know definitely the addy pen um, there's 50% of the reviews are it broke really quickly so there's a lot of other felting machines I wouldn't touch because the reviews are bad so that's why I bought this one in the end um, if you wear gloves or guards or something it's less scary I do find it quite scary uh, with your fingers out but if you wear something to protect yourself it's a lot lot better you do get spare oil or well, you do get oil full stop and you do get spare rubber bands, so that's good. It's light as well, really light in the hand. Um, so ultimately, I think I will use it probably about 15 to 20% of the time. Maybe if you came and saw me in a year, I might be using it a bit more. Lots of people have put very good reviews on and they love it. And that is why I purchased it, because of the reviews. Um, I would love to hear from anyone who has one and uses it or anyone who's thinking of getting one. Um, but if you do have one, I would love to know how much you use it and what specifically you use it for. Do you do flat felting um, or do you do it for fine detail? What sort of things do you really use it for? Put it down in the comments because that's going to help everybody else. Ultimately, I think it is a good needle felting machine. I think it is um, an expense. It's a lot of money, but I don't think it's expensive for what it is as a needle felting machine and the amount of time it's going to save you and if you compare it to other needle felting machines out there. So yes, it's a lot of money if you're just doing needle felting as a hobby. Um, do you need it? I don't know. If you're trying to do it as a business, as, even if it's you know a small business, part-time, full-time, Will it help? Yes, I think it will, absolutely. Um, or have you got an injury and you want to sort of not stress your hand as much? 
So there we go guys, that's my review. Any questions that you have that I didn't answer, put them in the comments below. And we'll see you again soon. Take care everybody.